today, I would like to talk about a movie, The Mermaid. This movie is directed by Chow Sing Chi, or you may know him by Stephen Chow. Anyway, he's a famous Hong Kong filmmaker, actor, and a producer. The movie started with an auction among rich businessmen. In the auction, the rich man successfully beat a land called Chiangna Bay with 280 billion. After the auction, he invited all his rich business friends to celebrate with his successful bid. But actually, all his friends are looking down on him. Everyone is laughing at him because the land that he beat is actually a dolphin sanctuary protected land, which is prohibited from any land rec reclamations, meaning that the land has no market value at all. But rich man is very steady. He shows the approval document from the government. It means that he could actually develop the land and earn a lot and a lot of money. And now the table has turned. His friends want to collaborate with him, including the pretty girl. They throw a party for rich man to celebrate his successful bid and for future collaboration. And out of nowhere, this girl comes out. She tries to seduce rich man, but she is not pretty enough to catch his attention. So before she is escorted out by the security, she gives him her phone number and asks him to call her later. And now you notice the way she walks is really weird. This is because she is a mermaid. Not this kind of mermaid, not these two, not these definitely, but these. This mermaid I made. The mermaids have been living in the ocean for centuries. Water pollution nowadays has always been one of the biggest challenges for them. And now, with the industrial and economic development, they are having a really hard time staying alive. Most importantly, Richmond Company has invented a sauna equipment which is used to drive away all the dolphins in the area so that his project can be approved by the government for land development. But this sauna equipment is extremely harmful to the aquatic organisms, including the mermaid's population. Therefore, the mermaids come up with a plan to murder the rich man, so that the project can be terminated and the sauna equipment can be destroyed and they could be saved. Richman actually has a crush on the pretty girl, so in order to make her feel jealous and catch her attention, he asks Mermaid Girl out for a date. The day has finally come. They have prepared everything for the Mermaid Girl to kill the rich man. But as expected, the plan has failed and failed and failed and failed again. So awkward. Anyway, they end up in a street store. The mermaid girl orders a chicken for him and the rich man is really touched because it reminds him of his father. He then gives her $1 million to thank her for bringing him to the street stores which bring back good memories. So now you know, the fastest way to earn money is to bring a rich guy to a street store. But she is a mermaid, you know. Money has no meaning to her at all. She then burned the check. And yes, this has caught rich man's attention. And I also know, the fastest way to catch a rich guy's attention is to throw away the money he gave you. But after a day spending with rich man, mermaid girl has totally fallen in love with him. She couldn't kill him. But regardless of anything, he still needs to die, right? This is to save their own species. Girl, please don't forget your mission. The next day, to make sure the mission goes smoothly, Tutong Boy joins the mission. He wants to kill rich man himself. But as you see, he failed so fatally. At this time, pretty girl shows up. Looking at how rich man is always together with mermaid girl, she feels jealous. But it's too late because rich man has fallen in love with the mermaid girl. He then goes to find the mermaid girl and he finally realizes that she is a mermaid. It's too late to run away now. Rich man is caught into their territory. Rich man sees a lot of mermaids that have been hurt by the sauna equipment which he put in the ocean. The Sotong boy tells him that he has no right at all to destroy their home. Sotong boy wants to kill him for once and for all, and Richman is really scared. He promises to turn off the sauna equipment if Sotong boy would let him go. And in the end, Mermaid Girl saves him because she believes that Richman will fulfill his promise. After he escaped, his mind is filled with all the injured mermaids that are harmed by the sauna equipment. He then goes to his lab and experiences the effect of the sauna equipment himself. He realizes how harmful is the sauna equipment to the fishes and the mermaid population, and he decided to terminate the project. But Pretty Girl disagrees. She has also discovered the truth of mermaid, and she finds a great business opportunity from the mermaid species. So Pretty Girl and her team take off to the island and plan to capture all the mermaids. The team invades the mermaid's territory and harms a lot of mermaids. But Pretty Girl's target is to kill the mermaid girl first, because she is jealous that Richmond has fallen in love with her. 
And of course, rich man has come to rescue. Despite he got shot by Pretty Girl, he tries his very best to help Married Girl to get back to the ocean. In the end, as usual, the policeman arrives after everything has ended and arrested all the bad guys. Richman has fulfilled his promise to terminate the project and become a philanthropist who is active in supporting an environmental issue. And they live happily ever after. This movie mainly emphasizes environmental pollution in the ocean. There are scenes in the movie showing various human activities such as the emission of greenhouse gases, the release of chemicals in the river bodies, and deforestation. This indicates how industrialization and urbanization are negatively affecting our mother earth. In the movie, the director uses mermaid as the metaphor for aquatic organism. The mermaids that live in the ocean are fatally affected by the environmental issues. This reflects on the aquatic organism that is harmed by the human activities in real lives. For example, I think everyone knows about the turtles harmed by the plastic straw, the seabirds that bath with the oil spill, and the fishes that swim between the plastic waste. This movie clearly portrays that mankind has dominion over nature. For example, the pretty girl and her research team do not care if the mermaids are hurt. They only care about exporting the business opportunity from the mermaids. Moreover, the rich man company has also invented the sauna equipment that hurts the mermaid and the dolphin. This movie shows that the concept of anthropocentrism where humans hold the intrinsic value while the nature are just a source to be exploited. Also, government plays an important role in protecting the Mother Earth. The government should implement stricter rules and regulations when it comes to environmental issues. Before setting any project, especially in land development, more research should be done to evaluate if the project can fulfill the goal without exploiting the natural resources to ensure a sustainable future. Technology has been the driving force of civilization. In the movie, modern technology, such as a sauna equipment, is invented. But what if civilization is enhanced on the basis of destroying the environment? Are we still considered as civilized? Appropriate technology that results in less negative impacts on the environment and society should be developed instead. This is to create not only a sustainable economy, but also a sustainable future. Remember that there will be no economy without any future. One of the favorite quotes that I got from the movie is said by the mermaid girl. She said that, what is the point of earning more money if there is not even a drop of clean water or the breath of clean air left in our world? Indeed, money is important, but we should also know that it is everyone's responsibility to protect our Mother Earth. Changes always start with little things, and it starts with you and me. The echo activity that I would like to propose is to reduce the use of single-use plastic. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, there is at least 8,000 tons of plastic end up in the ocean every year. To reduce the consumption of plastic, we can prepare our own container, cutleries, water bottle when packing food, especially during the movement control order where we only allow to take away food and drinks. Moreover, you can also use reusable bag when buying groceries. Isn't it simple? All you need is a reusable food container and a reusable bag and you can contribute in reducing plastic waste. Manufacturing plastic products emits greenhouse gases. According to statistics, productions of 150 million tons of single-use plastic can emit about 750 million tons of carbon. By reducing the plastic waste, we can help in reducing the energy land in which that is required for the absorption of carbon emission. This could help in reduce the ecological footprint. According to the survey done by Penang Green Council, the use of plastic bags, containers, cutleries, and straws have increased about 35% during MCO. We should aware about the increasing of plastic waste will not only lead to pollution, but also possess certain risks in harming wildlife and humans. This activity is simple and accessible. It also costs much, in contrast, it helps to save money. As Malaysia state governments have imposed a minimum charge of 20 cents for each plastic bag requested in supermarket or convenience stores. I think that everyone should make it a habit to use reusable container or bag whenever buying takeaway food or doing grocery shopping. You may realize this simple act can make a great impact to the world.